I've seen uh, I've seen a, a lot of guys. They've got different uh, different methods of pulling fur and whatnot. And I know in my case here, I got to be a little bit careful that I, I don't get too overzealous. But I just took and tied a little strap, a little cargo strap. I don't know if you can kind of see it there, and tied it around where the fur meets the paws. So it sort of kind of works. I don't want to pull it apart. But then what I've got is I'm uh, basically going to let the weight of the wolf kind of help me do some of that work instead of sitting there leaning on that fur. So it's working pretty good. I don't really, I don't really appreciate the, the color of the skin. Um, I mean, it's, it's definitely not, you know, how you'd really like it. But, but it is what it is. Um, yeah, I'm making pretty good progress here. At this rate, I'll have him, uh, I'll probably have him uh, finished skinning out here not too long. And the one thing about it, uh, about the wolf not being, not being completely thawed out is uh, the way that it works out now is that I don't have to be too worried about all the blood uh, from the head. It doesn't look like it'll be bleeding too much. So I don't have to take and tape up that head and get worried about all that blood coming in and uh, leaking all over that fur. So I'll take and uh, skin those front legs out and then uh, I think maybe what I'll do is I'll take and I'll, I'll tie uh, the wolf uh, the other way around up on the fur there to take and finish off and do that head. So it's working pretty good, pretty happy so far.